And so this is where the rinse method comes in. In the rinse method, we're going to use the weak form to infer a quadratic functional, something of this form, a variational problem. The Ritz method has the advantage that the approximating functions that is the phi i's only need to satisfy the essential boundary conditions since of course the natural boundary conditions are included in the weak form. So here we seek an approximate solution of the form so u is approximated by uh so we have some unknown coefficients times some approximating functions or interpolating functions and we'll find the cj's by minimizing the functional. So we have this functional but once we plug in u of h which is the approximate solution then this functional just becomes an ordinary function an ordinary algebraic function and we can then use the techniques from regular calculus to find the minimization. That is, that the partial i partial c j equal to zero. So when this condition is satisfied, uh, then that functional is at a minimal. And so let's look at an example. If we have this function, I'm sorry, this differential equation is written in the strong form with the essential boundary conditions. We can develop the weak form, and I'll just write it down. But again, the steps are just a procedure. We multiply through by test function, integrate by parts to shift some of the differentiation onto the test function. And I'm writing it in such a way that it has the terms with u and del u grouped. So this is b u. This is l del u. Therefore, we can infer a quadratic functional from this.
Okay? So now we'll assume an approximate solution of the form C1x1 minus x plus C2x squared 1 minus x plus C3 x cubed 1 minus x. And then we'll plug that into this function, evaluate the integral, and then we have an ordinary algebraic function in terms of the unknown coefficients, and then we can just minimize that with respect to C1. C2 and C3, and then solve those equations simultaneously for the unknown coefficients. So for this example, let's go ahead and try that. And I'm just going to do it in Mathematica to save time working on the algebra. So we have our approximate U. is equal to C1x1 one minus x plus C2x squared 1 minus x plus C3x cubed 1 minus x. All right, and then if we plug that into our quadratic functional, to x squared minus u of x squared plus 2x squared times u of x. And so there we have just a regular functional you can see in terms of the C's, and so now we should just be able to say equation one is the partial with respect to C1, partial of I with respect to C1, oh, I think I need to give that a different symbol because I is an imaginary number, there we go. Equation 2 is D with respect to C2. Equation 3, partial with respect to C3. All right, so now I have three equations that I can solve simultaneously. So then I would have Solve for C1, C2, C3. I need to set these equal to zero. So there's my three solutions. And so with that, should be able to plot the solution. So if I plot u of x evaluated with the solution from x equals 0 to 1. So there's the solution. Or the approximate solution based on those interpolating functions. So that's how you'd work that problem.